Yo, yo, everybody. Welcome to this bonus episode of Earn and Invest. I'm going off the reservation here. This is a completely unscripted episode. It's going to be a short one, but I want to introduce you to some of the ideas that I started Earn and Invest in the first place for, and also introduce you to the idea of wealth with purpose. This is going to be a mastermind based on Earn and Invest. It's going to be a chance to support Earn and Invest as a podcast but also to grow and learn for a very small select group of people. Before I talk about what wealth with purpose is going to be, let me tell you about some of the things I struggled with and why I started the Earn and Invest podcast. You guys have heard my story before. You know that I was a practicing physician. I was burning out. I was starting to lose my way, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was really struggling with a few essential questions. One of the questions, a big, big question for me is what is enough? Now, when I started thinking about the enough question, I really started economically and I couldn't figure out what enough money was. That problem was mostly solved when Jim Daly, the white coat investor, sent me his book to review for my medical blog. It taught me about financial independence And I learned how to calculate how much money is enough. You guys have all heard about the 25 times rule and the 4% safe withdrawal, et cetera, et cetera. That solved the problem for what is enough money, but I was still stuck with this idea of how do I become enough? And so I learned that I was financially independent in 2014, but it took me years, probably up to 2018 to really fully quit my job, a job that wasn't serving me. And to start exploring what enoughness means in my life, something I'm still exploring, but I get tons of emails and messages from Earn and Invest listeners. And this idea of what is enough, not just enough things, but what is being enough really look like? It became one of the essential questions that I query when I get guests here on Earn and Invest. It's what I want to talk about. How do we define enough in our lives And how do we make that feel really good? So question one that I really feel Earn and Invest is based on is, what does enough look like in our life? Question two is related to question one. Not only what does enough look like in our life, but what does living a purposeful life look like? This was something I really, really struggled with. As you guys know, I grew up thinking I was going to be a doctor. That was going to be my purpose in life. When I burned out in medicine, As opposed to being excited when I was realized I was financially independent, I actually was panicked because for the first time in my life, I had to question my identity, question my sense of purpose, and try to figure out who I wanted to be if I stepped away from this identity of being a physician. Purpose is a big word. I often talk about capital P purpose, and the reason why is... When we talk about purpose, it often makes people anxious. It makes them feel like there's this thing out there that they have to strive for. And if they don't find it, they're going to be failures. And that feels bad. On the other hand, I think if we go the opposite direction and say, forget purpose, it's too stressful. I'm just going to live my life and not worry about that. Then we kind of live a life adrift where we don't know where we're headed. We don't know what fulfillment really looks like because we don't know what has meaning in our life. So question two that I really created this podcast, Earn and Invest, to answer is how do we start thinking about a purposeful life? Once we figured out question one, what enough is, how then do we work towards purpose and use that sense of purposefulness to start living the life we want to live, doing the things we want to do, using our financial means to help us accomplish things that really fill us up? For me, that was a difficult thing to figure. Once I decided I was going to leave medicine, I really had to dig deep and figure out, well, who I am and what do I want? And I realized that for me, it was always this idea of communication that lit me up, whether it was writing a blog, doing public speaking, or eventually podcasting. I realized that being behind a mic was something that felt really purposeful for me, creating these conversations that got us to think deeply and hopefully elucidated information that helped other people. That became my sense of purpose. I didn't figure it out right away. It took years of struggling, but I knew that that was what felt whole and good to me. Which brings us to the third reason I really started Earn and Invest. 
The problem is, even if we figure out what enough is in our life, and then we start living a more purposeful life, we still have to physically figure out how to transition from the life we're living today into the life we want to live. And often this has to deal with a job. Whether you need a job because you have money or you need a job to create structure in your life and give you something to do every day, once we start figuring out who we want to be and what we want to do with ourselves, we then have to transition out of this job, this nine to five, whatever is taking up our time today, and hopefully turn it into a more purposeful job. Now, you've heard me now use the word job in both situations, both before and after we figure out enough. And the reason why is I think we're going to do work our whole lives. The idea is not to escape work. The idea is not even just to retire or to retire early. The idea is to start doing work that's more purposeful. If you're going to stay in a job, do a job that's more purposeful. And this is another thing I get tons of emails about. People write me and say, okay, I now have more of a sense of purpose but how the heck do I move from my nine to five now, which only maybe has a kernel of what I like doing in it and turn that into a job in which I'm doing most of the time what I want to do. A lot of people even want to stay with their employers or like the job they're doing. They're just aspects of that job they don't like. Now, when I wrote the book, Taking Stock, I talk a lot about the art of subtraction, how we start getting rid of those things in our job we don't like and see what's left over. Well, that's an easy thing to say. Obviously, in each individual life with each individual job, there's all sorts of nuance and details we have to work through. So I think that was a really big third reason I started the podcast, Earn and Invest, is to help people move from jobs that weren't fulfilling them, that weren't giving them a sense of purpose, and then transition to doing things that felt more purposeful. So that's it. Three main reasons I started Earn and Invest. One was to try to figure out what enough means in our life, not only economically, but otherwise. Two was to try to learn how to build a life of purpose once we figured out what enough is, and last but not least, using that information then to transition out of the jobs and the things that we're doing now that aren't fulfilling us and transition into things we want to do. These are big questions. I've been doing this podcast for over four years now, and we dance around them all the time. Sometimes we come up with really good answers. Other times we don't. But when it really hit me, was back in 2008, I was struggling with these issues. I was trying to figure out purpose in my life. I was trying to figure out how to leave my job. And I was feeling a little bit lost. And I signed up to go to a Camp Fi in Minnesota. This was the first Camp Fi I ever went to. I think it was one of the first personal finance conferences I ever went to. And when I went there, I was literally standing on the abyss trying to figure out what to do with my life. Would I stay where it was safe in my job as a doctor, working full-time, doing things that were burning me out, but that I didn't love? Or would I jump off the cliff into the unknown, explore financial independence, and start doing things that felt more purposeful for me, pursuing more content creation, public speaking, more communicating? And when I got to this Camp Fi, I met a group of people who helped me in so many ways. For one, they listened to what I had to say. This was a group of about 50 or 60 people that go to a Camp Fi, and I connected with a number of them. So they listened to what I had to say. They told me it was okay. It was okay not to be happy at work today. It was okay to leave. It was okay to lean on your financial well-being because you had built it up so that you could live the life you wanted to live. And these people were living examples, people that I got to meet who were changing their lives. They were doing non-traditional things. They were leaving their jobs early. They were pursuing other jobs that maybe didn't make them a lot of money, but they were pursuing purpose. And the reason why this was such a big deal to me is it's one thing to be in your own head, thinking about all these things, working it out, but often the step that we need to take to move from concept and idea and even passion to action is we need other people. We need other people to listen to us. We need other people to dissect what we say. We need other people to point to the fallacies of our own arguments. We need other people to give us courage to help us move forward 
to give us the ideas and the strength to grow and learn. And in fact, isn't that why I started Earn and Invest in the first place? The idea is to create these conversations that you all could listen to in your home or in your car or at work. And we could answer some of these questions. We could be your community. You could listen to us here on the podcast, and it could give you some of that strength that I gathered in 2008 at this campfire in Minnesota the strength that eventually gave me the courage to truly leave my job and start pursuing the life I really wanted to live. The problem is I love podcasts and podcasts are great. And this doesn't mean that I want you to stop listening to earn and invest, but for a small group of us, <clears throat> not only do we want to listen to a podcast, but we want to truly interact with some people in the same boat as us. We want to get on a zoom call <clears throat> and talk about what's on our minds, what's changing in our lives. We want to ask advice. We want to know what we can do to improve our lives. And we need these other people there to give us strength. And so I started thinking about how I could integrate that into Earn and Invest. And I came up with this idea of a way to support the podcast, but would also give a select few people the ability to meet with a group of like-minded people like us, discuss what was going on in their life, and get that same courage and information that I got from this campfire in 2018 and change our lives. So this is the way I look at it. I'm starting the Wealth with Purpose Mastermind group. I call it a mastermind, but it's actually three different things. One is it's a Patreon group. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, it's a way for you to pledge support to something like a podcast or a blog by giving monthly dona donations. So I'm setting this up as a Patreon group so you can give monthly donations and I'm asking for $25 a month. What that does is that helps support Earn and Invest so I can continue making a great podcast with really great guests and help elucidate some of these issues that we're all working through. So number one, Wealth with Purpose is a Patreon group. It's the cost of entry, $25. You go to earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. Again, earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. You agree to pay $25 per month. It comes right out of your credit card or what have you. And that supports Earn and Invest. But that buys you an in to the other two things that Wealth with Purpose is going to be. So one, it's going to be a Patreon group. Number two, it's going to be a mastermind. So for a small group of us who pay to be part of this Patreon group, we also are going to have monthly meetings and we're going to do exactly what the podcast does, but in a much more personal way. We're going to talk about enough. We're going to talk about how to build purpose in your life. We're going to talk about how to transition out of the job or the life that you don't love now into one you want. And we're going to do it together as a group, very personal. We're going to tell our stories. We're going to be vulnerable with each other. We're going to meet on a regular basis. That's going to be once a month Zoom calls. And we're going to talk about how to make our lives better. This is a mastermind group. You will be surrounded by people who either have gone through what you're going through, are going through it currently, or at some time in the future, want to do what you're hoping to do. This is how we grow. This was the magic and the power of the Camp Fi. I want to bring this to a few select listeners every month, all the time. So Wealth with Purpose, like we said, A, is going to be a Patreon group. B, it's going to be a mastermind. And C, it's going to be bonus material. So not only are we going to do these mastermind meetings once a month, we're going to do once a quarter live podcasts and guests where I will do just for this little group, a live podcast, we will have guests on, but not only will I do the podcast just for us, these won't be live, these won't be part of the Earn and Invest podcast, but also you'll be able to question the guests. So if you are part of this group, you will be listening to the interview on Zoom, but then you will get your chance to ask whatever questions you want and interact with these guests Maybe people you never met before, only dreamed of meeting. People like my friend Jail Collins or Grant Sabatier or who knows who will decide to have in these quarterly live podcasts. But you will be able to interact with them, ask them questions, etc. I definitely wanted to bring this feeling into it because 
when I went to that campfire in 2018, I met a lot of people, a lot of people just like you and me, but also a lot of people who are well-known creators in the financial independence space. So when I went to this Camp Fi in 2018, JL Collins was there, Leif Dalin, the physician on fire was there, Gwen Mers was there, Tanya Hester was there, all these people who I grew and learned from and eventually created content with. I met them all there and I want to give you all the same opportunity to meet some of these great creators, to hear me interview them, to interview them yourself and get this bonus and extra content. So that's what we're talking about today, Wealth With Purpose. It's a Patreon group. It's a mastermind. It's bonus content. It's $25 a month. The way you sign up is you go to earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. Again, that's earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. When you go there, that's going to bump you right to the Patreon page. Right at the top, it'll tell you the number of Patreon supporters as well as the money don't look at that. It's confusing. It's never up to date. It's aggregate. It doesn't make a lot of sense. When you go and you sign up, if you're interested, you sign up for $25 a month. That's $300 a year. And that will get you access to all the things that Wealth with Purpose is. I have not decided how many people we are going to have in this mastermind group. I will tell you that even if it's just one other person with me, which it isn't because we've already had some people sign up, but even if it was just one other person with me, I would still do this because I think it's important for us to create the smaller community within our big community. Um, and we'll see how high numbers will go. But the idea is for this to be a close, intimate group so that we can interact with each other, so that we can grow and learn with each other. And also so we can keep each other accountable. Sometimes you just need to tell your goals, your dreams, your aspirations to someone else. Because once you do, once you put it into words, once you bind yourself to other people by discussing these things, discussing what your hurdles and roadblocks are and having other people help you around them, that's when you truly become accountable. That's when you truly create a community I want Wealth With Purpose to be that community for those of you who are interested. I'm really excited to roll this out. We are getting people to sign up on Patreon this month. Our first meeting will be early next month. That's Wealth With Purpose. The easiest way to get there is just go to earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. Again, earnandinvest.com slash mastermind. Join me on this adventure. I can't wait to meet you all. I can't wait to work with you on this. And otherwise, Earn and Invest will continue to go on the way it has. We will continue having Monday and Thursday episodes open to the public. Uh, but for those small number of you who are interested in being part of the mastermind, you will get the monthly meetings as well as the quarterly live podcasts. And finally, the chance to support Earn and Invest. All of the money that I collect from Patreon is going to go directly to the podcast to support it to help make sure that I can continue to make Earn and Invest the best it can be for everyone. Thank you so much for listening to this bonus episode. Next episode is regularly scheduled on Thursday. Can't wait to talk to you all again. Thanks.